Hey guys, I just wanted to update you on that 3000 watt solar array that I put together. This is the wattage coming from it right now. It's a pretty cloudy day. I keep getting a couple peaks of sunshine, but nice and cool out. This white meter here is actually my 400 watt array, which I have wired into this 250 watt grid tie inverter. I got this inverter off of eBay. I think the eBay name was Using God's Free Energy. So you might want to check him out. He has 100% feedback and sold a lot of units, so sounds like he's keeping everybody happy. Uh, we got some good readings here now. 1450 watts. This, this line here is the AC I have a 3000 watt grid tie inverter out at the array, which is about 150 feet from here. This is the AC that comes in from that. So it comes in here and then it goes through this 30 amp breaker. And it goes out of this breaker through here, it goes through the wall here. goes out through here, you can see the conduit, and it actually goes right out to another 30 amp breaker that's in, in my fuse panel. So this is all running on one circuit. I had it plugged into the wall earlier, but it didn't really like the idea of that much power going through all my sockets in the wall here. Because if you plug it in there, it has to travel to the next one, over to the next one, before it goes back to the box. So I kind of gave it a direct path. Seems to be working out pretty good. Let's see if I can get some readings of... That's the cost that it's made so far, $6.76, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it will add up. That's my rate, 11 cents. This is what it's made since I had it hooked up, 61 kilowatts, 61 and a half kilowatts. And it made that in 158 hours. I actually turn this off at night and shut this breaker down here because it will, it will pull a little bit of a load, about four and a half to five watts or something, so I just shut it down. And that's that. That's the voltage. And those are the amps coming in. Nine amps. It was up to ten there. You can see my... This is the DC amperage here from my 400 watt solar, solar array. That's got about 12 amps DC right now. So on the AC side, we got 12 amps coming in. And right now we have 1400 watts. So it seems to be working pretty good. I'm getting about half the power that I wanted to, but that could be a little bit in line loss. And maybe my panels aren't sitting exactly the way they should. They're sitting about 35 degrees. You see the 400 watt arrays putting out pretty good today. It was almost up around 200 a little earlier, which is pretty good for that. Alright guys, just wanted to give you a little update on that. It's been a few days since I updated anybody on it. We'll get a little view of the array out here. I'll see it across the lawn there. And today is Mother's Day, so if any of you mothers are watching, happy Mother's Day. The windmill's just starting to fire up. Get some power out of that today, hopefully. That just goes into a battery bank that I have. Give you a little DC reading out here at the... This is DC now. So we've got about 40 amps. meter out here. So 
someday I'll figure out what the difference is from this meter to the one in the house and I'll be able to figure out what I have for line loss. This meter's made 63 and a half kilowatts. I think the other one in the house said 61, but I'll have to check the video when I re-watch it. And here's the AC line that starts here. It goes all the way down and around. Down here. Got a little shadow of the wind turbine. It's all the way down to the house. So it's working out pretty good. Alright guys, thanks for watching.